to zero. We're going to refer to a positive and negative together as a unit, as a zero pair. The first problem we're going to do is negative five plus three. So one way to think about this is we have five negatives and then we're going to add three positives. Once again, when you have a negative and a positive together, that's equal to zero, that's equal to zero, that's equal to zero. So these are zero pairs and we can kind of remove them and what we're left with is negative two. So the answer to negative five plus three is negative two. One thing I like to do is I also ask myself, I kind of look, I have negative five and three and I ask myself, what do I have more of? I have more negatives. So when I'm finished, my answer will be negative. The next problem we're going to do is negative 3 minus 4. So I have, once again, I can ask myself, here's negative 3, and then kind of the sign associated with that 4 is a minus. You can also think about it as add a negative. So minus 3 and minus 4. I only have negative, so my answer better be negative when I'm finished. So negative 3, and then I have four, I'm going to add the opposite, so add negative four. So negative three and then minus four or add negative four is a total of negative seven. So this is, oopsie, I'm off the page. I hate when that happens. There you go. <laughs> How about that for technology? <laughs> okay. So Another way to think about this is um, you can say you have negative 3 and we're going to minus 4. Well, we don't have anything to take away from. We only have negative. So another way I could do is that I, I can add some zero pairs. So once again, this is my three negatives and I still have this is zero, so I haven't changed anything. So I'm just going to add some zeros here. So I have my negative three and then I'm going to I have to take away four. So here's one, two, three, four. This here is a zero pair. So I'm just going to remove that because it's not it doesn't have any value and once again we see seven negatives. This is a high-tech video just in case you didn't I <laughs> couldn't tell. <laughs> okay and then the last one one minus three so I have positive one and I need to I can add negative three that's one thing to do think about is add the opposite I can add negative three one two, three, and once again, I'm looking to see if there's any zero pairs. Here's a plus and a minus. That's a zero pair. So this is equal to negative two. I can also ask myself, the other question once again is checking. I have a positive and I've got these three negatives. So when I'm finished, I have more negatives. So my answer better be negative. Another way to do this is you have one and I don't have any um, things to take away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a whole bunch of zero pairs. So once again, this is still equal to one because this is one plus zero plus zero. It's still equal to one. I haven't changed the value at all. So I have one and now I'm going to take away three, one, two, three, 
And I'm going to see, once again, do I have any zero pairs? A plus and a minus is a zero. A plus and a minus is a zero. So once again, I have negative two. So the integer tiles are a great just visual thing. And just if you're really kinesthetic, which means you really need to touch things to kind of get a feel for it, then this is a, a strategy to kind of get you familiar conceptual with stuff. This is obviously not the way you're going to always be doing your integer problems because it takes a little bit too much time. But it's just a nice kind of get comfortable with integers. And there's other strategies as well using a number line, but this is just kind of a nice starting one. And I think it's a bit fun. Enjoy.